we are on the border of Chile, or Chile. And we've, we've taken a, a bus this morning from Salta in Argentina to, well, we're hoping to get to San Pedro in Chile so we can go um, stargazing tonight. But we're at the border crossing and it's a two hour wait and we're pretty tired and we had a massive bus journey yesterday. We had a really long, we had a really long bus journey yesterday that was 17 hours. 19. 19 it was meant to be 17. And um, but at least there were three Adam Sandler films back to back in Spanish. <laughs> that actually made them more watchable. So this is the desert. <coughs> this is the, I think we're at the edge of the Atacama Desert. You can keep, see that they, um, they nice. take really good care of it. We're here at Laguna Saha. 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 Better, as Jack says. Um, and basically, it's a salt lake. Um, and I've spoken to Will. Uh, he did a geography degree, so he should know. And he says that millions of years ago, this would have been an ocean. This is the seabed, which is why it's a load of salt. So we've come to this one to have a look around first, and then we're going to work our way over and go for a swim and float around because of all the salt content that you float really easily. We're just about to go swimming in the in the salt lake and what I really like about it here is it's so nice and peaceful and tranquil and there's no one else around. Oh god. Amazing to just float on the water like that. I've never seen anything like that. So salty now, though. I'm right, turn on where I am, and every bit of salt in the world comes from here. What's going on, boys? We're about to get cocktails out the back of a van. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> nice cocktail. What's, what's it like? What is it? Not sure. So, so, it's good. It's good. It's good. It sounds. Well, it sounds like this. It's, <laughs> it's nice, this one. What do you wish you'd brought with you? <laughs> Shoes. Why? The ground is really sharp. <laughs> we are 4,000 meters above sea level. 4,200. 4,200 meters above sea level. We've come to see the geezers. Um, apparently, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Got the geezers. <laughs> oh yeah, it's okay. Um, I, I know a couple of people out there. Apparently, this area has. 10% or 11% of the world's geezers. So. Yeah, London's got your day. Nine. Quick math. Eight. Nine. Okay. Here we go. What time is it? Oh, 6.59. We have to get up at 4.30. Oh, or 7. <laughs> 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 So although it looks like steam, it's, it is, but there's also other chemicals in there. There's arsenic and sulphur. Uh, it's quite bad for you to breathe it in. It can make you very dizzy and even go blind. So we've been told just to stick clear of that. But incredible. A wonder of nature. <laughs> so if you see the, behind me, there's orangey, uh, orangey puddles. That's um, not minerals, it's actually bacteria. And this um, bacteria is what would have been the first life on Earth millions and millions of years ago. Uh, and they thrive in temperatures of 40 to 100 degrees. Um, so 
this here was the building blocks, this bacteria, the building blocks for life for us, which I just find amazing. Look how far we've come. <laughs> yeah. It's funny that we now visit it. <laughs> yeah, I know, look. <laughs> it's amazing though. So, this is uh, the third biggest uh, geysers in the world, uh, which is uh, third to Yellowstone in America, and then there's a place in Bolivia, I'm just checking Bolivia. Bolivia. Um, it's also the second highest, only to Bolivia, where the highest one is. And in Chile, we found out that there's 2,882 2, volcanoes, of which 150 are actually active. Cool beans. What do you think, Will? I think it's amazing. So cool. It's in the power of the earth. Uh, that smoky thing behind us, or steamy thing, I should say, is the biggest geezer here. Whee. Um, and we're going to the, the hot spring next to it. Four yep. people died here recently, so... <laughs> yeah, but not in the hot spring. No. <laughs> We found a really hot, <laughs> really hot bit. And basically, as the, as the hot water comes in, you just get these sort of waves. waves of like scalding hot water. But it's quite, it's quite lovely when you get a nice temperature. Like. Really nice. I really enjoyed that. A bit out of breath though, because the altitude is really strange. All I did was get changed. <laughs> I'm out of breath. So behind me you'll see some very cool llamas um, and you might notice the colour that's uh, tied into their wool. And what it is is that they're tied as a form of offering uh, for a local religion and uh, it's basically it's, you give a colour to the llama um, and that is then sort of like a, yeah, a sacrifice to the, the god and then their god will offer protection for them, which is a lot better than sacrifice I think, just tying a bit of wool on it instead. What are we doing? Where are we? Uh, is it Manchuga? I think it's Manchuga. Yeah. We've just stopped at Manchuga, which is a very, very small village. In the low season, only six people live here. In the high season now, there's 20 people. Um, and we're going to try some llama kebabs and some empanadas. The people here, you, you, you're supposed to ask them first before you take their picture because they feel that, well, they think that if you take their picture, you're taking their soul or spirit. Mm. Good. Tasty. <laughs> Bit chewy. Harvey's in charge.